Hey, it's Adam back with another video. On this channel, we talk about commercial and residential real estate, all different aspects, a little bit of mindset content and some financial literacy sprinkled in. So we have a free VIP group where we uh, share information on the real estate industry, what's working, what's not, and answer questions and learn and grow as a community. So if you'd like to join, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you are part of the family, thanks for stopping back in and checking in. Uh, today's video is going to be about taking the motion out of selling your house. Right. So selling your house isn't always both easy, you know, uh, physically and emotionally. Um, if you've lived in the property for a long time, you probably have a strong attachment to the property, even if you know it's, you know, ultimately time to go. It can be hard to, you know, remove your emotions from the entire process and treat the transaction as just business as usual. Nothing wrong at all with having unforgettable memories in your home, but by removing some, if not all of the emotion, you'd be able to make the sale much easier. So one of the things is thinking about what you're actually gaining when, you know, you are selling your house, when you get focused on the next chapter in your life with positivity, selling your home can be a piece of cake. Again, think about everything you're gaining and what a new fresh start in a new house means to you. Just like you've had great times and cool memories in your current house, you'll create lasting memories in a new house just the same. So you can also remind yourself of why you are selling. Maybe the house is too large after the kids all moved out. On the flip side, maybe the property is too small for your growing family. Maybe you have a you know torturous commute to work every day uh, you get to leave behind. Uh, the selling process may feel difficult in the beginning, but if you remember why you're doing it in the first place, things will go much smoother. Another thing you can do is just create a virtual memory box. Okay, If you have a lot of fond memories of the home that you want to hold on to, taking photos, and storing them on an external hard drive or your computer can help you know make remembering special moments easier for you. you can gather up photos and videos taken in the home throughout the years uh, storing them all in one place so you can look back on them whenever you want to by taking photos of items that you know you won't have room for in the next place you'll be able to remember them without having to physically be there. Another idea is to create a journal filled with stories of some of the great memories that you've had in your house. Another thing that can help with taking emotions out of selling your house is removing personal items ahead of time. If you pack up personal items and store them away, you know, long before your actual moving day, it can subconsciously reduce your attachment to the home. So, you know, it'll feel less and less like your home and, uh, you know, more like an empty space. This could also help if you are listing and you want to declutter. Another thing is when you do actually move, your belongings will already be packed up and ready to go. So, of course, you don't want to obviously pack away things you, you currently need at the moment. Keep in mind that if you're listing your house, the process could take a while. So selling directly to a cash buyer will make things move much quicker, uh, helping to kind of rip that Band-Aid off instead of dragging out the, the, the whole process. Now, this is probably the main reason emotions can harm you, and that's overpricing the home. When you when you own a property you truly love and you're in a position where you need to sell, you could, you know, end up being pushed to overprice it based on what the property is you know, worth to you 
and not the actual local real estate market. If you're jumping out there on your own, calling a professional real estate investor or real estate agent in the area uh, can help you get an accurate estimate of what your house is really worth right now. You might disagree with the number you hear, but having an idea where to price will help you save time, tr uh, you know, trying um, and energy, you know, trying to sell a house for more than what it's actually worth. At the end of the day, uh, removing your emotion when selling your house and treating the process as a business transaction will ultimately make things easier for you. So again, that's that's some of the things that you can do to, you know, take the emotions out of selling your house. Uh, you want to begin that the the most probably the most important thing is what I just mentioned, which is overpricing your home. You know, when you attach emotion to the price of it, um, again, just keep in mind that your emotional attachment and the memories that you had and the good times and, you know, the, the, the times that you had in the property personally have nothing to do with the new buyer. The new buyer didn't get to share those experiences with you. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to take that into account when pricing your property. OK, the, the new buyer is looking at what they, you know, want to what they imagine their life being like in the property. So help them paint that picture without, you know, imposing on on them uh, what your picture of the property is. OK, let them paint their own picture and allow themselves to see themselves in the home the way they want to see themselves in the home. All right. So uh, real important to, you know, keep that in mind when you're, you know, selling your house is trying your best to remove all of the emotion out of it and just look at it as a business transaction and just dispassionately go through the process. OK, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, if you found value. You know, go ahead and click that like button, share, subscribe. Remember uh, that we have a free VIP group that you can join. Uh, come learn and grow with the community. If you'd like, the link is below in the description. And uh, if you also have any comments, experience, or things that you went through uh, selling your house or, you know, a time where you found yourself if you sold the house and you attached your emotion to it and how that, you know, possibly made the, the house fall through and not go, you know, to the finish line or uh, another experience that you may have had or any questions, you know, down in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and leave that and, and uh, touch bases with you. So until then, uh, next video, you know, take care. Have a good one.